Consider a perennial in your farming system, maybe intermediate wheatgrass, and that's what we have here behind me. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna share a little bit about this perennial. It's a crop that can give you harvestable products, as well as provide incredible environmental benefits. Wes Jackson, the founder of the Land Institute in Kansas, had a vision. He wanted to see perennials across the plains on all agricultural land to provide those environmental benefits and support farmers. But think about what it takes to grow an annual crop or any crop for the first time. You have to have the tractor and the seed ready to go. You have to have the labor. You have to have your field prepared. And that's always contingent on Mother Nature's decision on wetness and dryness. So if you have a perennial, you don't have to do that every year. You do it once and you get a crop and a harvestable product and the environmental benefits for several years. So the next time you're thinking about a new crop in your rotation, take a look at perennial grains like intermediate wheatgrass. There are other grains out there as well. There, you can see different opportunities on the notes that we have included. In 1983, Rodale Research Institute saw that this grass, which was used to be always just used for grazing, put up a spike with a nice seed head. And with that, they started selecting for the varieties that had the seed head. And the plant breeders since that have taken it and have done some crosses, primarily at the Land Institute in Kansas and the University of Minnesota. And they've come up with varieties that have better qualities for grain and for pasture. So thanks to these persistent grain breeders, we have an opportunity to try this intermediate wheatgrass. And this is the field that I'm standing in. So you can see how green it is. Here it is November and it's green. We harvested it and here is the grain that is, that is available and you see it, the heads are smaller. It's much smaller than, than wheat and that's the challenge. It produces about a third to a half of the yield per year of grain that compared to annual wheat. You can't ever, ever, ever overlook the phenomenal roots that this offers. It feeds the microbes, the guys we don't see and the earthworms. And look at these roots. And I only did this with one shovel. If we had a, a real way to dig down, we'd find these roots up to eight, 10 feet below the frost line. So even in winter, they're able to work for you. So intermediate wheatgrass might be an option to fit into your system. Take a look at the resources and see what you think.